Hi, this is Wade Smith with our Get Smart series. Today's topic, how does IO work with non-finished products? So most IO tools handle non-finished products, or at least they say they do. Basically, material A is used as a component in material B. But does it actually do it well? Is it actually any good at risk pooling? I'll cover three topics in this talk. Basic IO design for non-finished products. How do, do non-finished products impact the algorithm and use cases? Let's get started. Essentially, IBPIO allows for a bill of materials so that one or more components can be used to make a finished product. You can also go down multiple levels in the bomb. You can also make the quantity needed for each component change over time if your business process requires that. Finally, the IO algorithm will risk pool with components wherever possible. As an extreme example, you have a hundred different finished products that use the same single component. There's really no transportation or production lead time or variability of any of the products. Maybe you're just printing a label on the box for the same pill in the same location. So in that case, you'll find that the IO algorithm will hold almost all the inventory as the component and wait for an order before making one of the hundred finished products. This is something supply chain executives figured out how to do in the 80s, but now an IO system will do it automatically. These are examples of a product not having any components maintained in the system and the total inventory costs. We then add in one component. We'd add in cost data to show that the component is cheaper to handle than the finished product. We add in an additional component and see how inventory is impacted. Finally, we double the amount of component material needed in a finished product for three months during the year and see the total impact on inventory levels. Again, this is a relatively advanced concept of inventory optimization, but most organizations will want to optimize their entire product portfolio and include component products. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to click below to like, subscribe, or comment.